I'll just pull up a grayscale so you can see it as an example. What I'll do is I'll just increase the contrast to maximum. So now you can see we've got complete contrast between black and white. So when I move this pivot point, you can see that that point between black and white actually moves. What we need to do is we need to find our 18% middle gray because we know that we're working inside DaVinci Intermediate and we know that DaVinci Intermediate middle gray point is 0 0.336. We can go to our pivot and we can set 0 0.336. Now, when we make any changes in contrast, whether we increase it or decrease it, it's all going to be pivoting around that middle gray point. That's how we lock in our middle gray point. And it's it's relatively straightforward. Like it doesn't have to be complicated. If you're working inside the Vinci White Gamut, all you need to know is your pivot is 0 0.336. That's it. That's your middle gray in the Vinci White Gamut. Now, if you want to do this in your curves, I'll show you that so that DCTL that I showed you there, the DCTL, we can drag that onto our contrast node and then we'll just open up mono middle gray. And then we'll just go down here and find the space that we're working in. And we're working in DaVinci Intermediate. And you can see here, 0 0.336. Now what's gonna happen in our curves here, you'll see the histogram. You'll get this spike on the, on the graph, which is this represented by this middle gray point. So we know that that's our middle gray. So we can lock that in. Kind of what we've done here, it's a similar principle with the pivot. 0 0.336 on the pivot is pretty much locking in that middle gray point. That's, how, that's the technical side of it. That's how you find your middle gray. That's how you lock it in. And before you make any contrast adjustments, you need to find your middle gray and, and lock it. When we convert out to Rec 709, any skin tones, any mid details are going to fall around that 45 IRE, which is essentially the middle gray point. So by locking off your middle gray point in the color wheels or the, the curves, you're essentially locking down most skin tones and most of that mid detail. So any changes you make outside that will be mostly in the shadows and the highlights with the detail and the, the contrast preserved in that middle region. That's why we do it. And then it basically means when we apply this across different shots or different looks, you're gonna get a nice consistent feel and a consistent contrast across your footage.